Research into couples and their personal finances consistently shows that it's mainly men who make investment decisions. But women tend to have a different attitude towards investing, and when they are involved, they often make better choices. Dr. Moira Sommers is a financial psychologist at the University of Manitoba. My understanding of the current state of the research is that women are still much more conservative investors. They often wait far too long to get into investing. When they do start investing, though, they tend to have better returns than men because they are more prudent. They, they don't seek the extreme uh, reward end of the spectrum. They're content. Um, they're content with more modest returns and they tend to achieve them. Surveys consistently show that money is one of the main causes of stress. Women are particularly prone to worrying about it. Another gender difference is that women tend to stress more about money. They will acknowledge that they lose sleep more often than men do. And sometimes that's because they do not have sufficient knowledge of their own family finances. They're not the ones in control. You know how sometimes it's harder to be a passenger in the car than a driver? You're glad somebody else is driving, but you still have absolutely no control about what's happening. And so it's a different kind of stress. So a lack of knowledge is one reason why women aren't more involved in investment decisions. But Dr. Sommers says there's another key factor. When we survey them, when we work with them to say, how come this isn't so easily transferable for you? You, ha you have brilliant skills in household management. Why, why is this not translating in, into a, the broader financial picture? And some of it, frankly, has to do with mistakes that advisors make. Um, there are some real big turnoffs, real big mistakes um, that just leave women feeling stupid, and uh, embarrassed and uncomfortable, and so they vote with their feet. Having the wise counsel of a good financial advisor is extremely valuable. There are encouraging signs the advice profession is starting to provide women with a better service than it has done in the past, but there's still room for improvement. So don't be put off by negative experiences. Find an advisor you trust and feel comfortable with. You can find out more about Dr. Sommer's work via her website, moneymindandmeaning.com. That's moneymindandmeaning.com.